Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and in this video we are talking about mobile phone review. First and foremost, let me answer that why a mobile phone review. Now recently on my Instagram, I posted a photo of iPhone X or iPhone 10, whatever you call that. And I don't know why certainly that photo got popular. And I, I usually receive in my email that what is difference between Java and JavaScript and iOS and Android and all these stuff. But suddenly from the last week, certain, I don't know how this is happening. That photo got really popular and a lot of people just start asking me, why don't you review an iPhone? Why don't you review a OnePlus device? Or why don't you review the phone that you are using? So let me tell you about my review of the mobile phone. If a phone has got a Snapdragon processor, the latest one, it's an amazing phone. If that phone has got a good amount of RAM so that you can open up like 10 or 20 apps at a time, it's a good phone. The storage depends on how much you want to use it. Also on top of that, if you get a features like face unlock or maybe a thumbprint, that's pretty much it. That's all a phone is about to me. If you love iPhone ecosystem, go ahead, get an iPhone. If you love the Android ecosystem, you have got options like Samsung or maybe OnePlus devices. And we all know that there are different variants in that. So that's pretty much it. If you can spend a huge amount of money, there is a bezel less things, 18 to nine aspect ratio for you and all these things. And that's pretty much it. That's all about my review of the mobile phones. A lot of people think that since I'm a YouTuber and I have crossed the 100,000 mark here, I would be getting a lot of devices and probably that's the reason why I'm receiving such emails. But this is, this is not how the things actually work on YouTube. This is not like certainly one day you'll be hitting 100,000 subscribers and bam, companies will be giving you a lot of phones and your house will be filled up with the phones and they can do a giveaway. No, this is not how the things happen. If this is what you're thinking, let me explain how the things actually happen. Nowadays, there is no shortage of YouTuber. Whether they guys have experience or not, they want to become a YouTuber and certainly they open up a channel. And usually that's a tech channel. Now, I don't say that opening up a tech channel is a bad thing. If you love tech, that's your thing. You are going to do it anyways. But it's not also like that. You'll be getting your mobile phones without approaching anybody. And just by sitting at your home, you'll get a mobile phone. Now, yes, companies do somehow approach me and try to give all of their gadgets and all these things. I usually don't accept that unless I love the device, actually. But here's the thing that how you will be getting your devices. The first and foremost thing, you have to approach them. You have to ask for a device. You have to go into the mobile launch parties, whether that's a OnePlus device, Samsung, or whatever you or device you are looking up for. So the number one thing is you have to approach them. Until unless you are attending their events, whatever the city they are happening in, and you are approaching the PR guys, you won't be getting any devices. Since I don't attend usually any YouTube events and any launch parties, I don't get much of these devices. So that's why I don't do much of the reviews. All of the things that I have so far unboxed and all on this channel are totally being purchased by me. I love that device, I purchased it, I use it every single day, that's why I just unboxed it. If I had to do all these unboxing and reviews, I probably could have already done that. I use some amazing great mics, a great uh, iMac, a MacBook Pro, a couple of them, uh, some great mics. My friend recently bought a latest Galaxy device. I already do have an iPhone X at my home, so I would have already done that. But since I'm not an expert in doing a mobile phone reviews, I don't do it. There are a lot of other great YouTubers and great tech channel who are doing that. I really do appreciate that they are taking the time and sending us these amazing reviews and all these things. As far as concerned about this channel, this is moreover a tech channel which is oriented and based towards programming. And that's why recently I changed the cover on my YouTube and said this is a programming channel. Because yes, I do love tech just like you. You love to visit all these latest technology, what is happening with a latest Samsung device or an iPhone device. But again, to be honest, what I am most concerned about is what is happening inside those devices. How can I contribute in that by making an app or making a website and all these things. So I'm not much interested in just opening a device and saying, you know what, this camera is amazing. We all know that how much you are going to get better in the mobile phone devices still these DSLR and these film grade cameras are going to be dominating at least for now. 
I am not sure that whether in the future I'll be doing these reviews and these gadgets and stuff, probably or probably not. But as of now, I want to keep this channel as just pure programming channel. I love these things. It's not like I'm against anything, but it's something that I am not comfortable in doing. I'm more comfortable in talking all day for React, maybe Angular, maybe machine learning, .NET, Xamarin. These are the things that I love to do and I can obviously talk about them. These are the things that gives me spark. Yes, these techs are also interesting, like what is going to be a new iPhone and all these things. But just like you, I'm also a viewer of these things. I like to be a viewer. I don't like to be creator of the content for such things. And obviously, it's a well-known fact that whatever the device you want to really get, it's always a little bit out of your budget. For example, you want to buy a MacBook Pro, but what you can afford right now is MacBook Air. What you want to get is an iPhone 10 or iPhone X, but what you can afford right now is iPhone 6 or iPhone 7. And this is the condition for every single one of us. And then there is another strong reason, and that is the quality of the audience at my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel somehow is having amazing audience quality. I'm really uh, saying this out loud that I'm really proud on the quality of audience that I'm having here is like something that doesn't often happen at YouTube. Usually the channel is filled up with like uh, people who just abuse and just dislike the content for no given reason. At my channel, the subscriber quality is like way top notch and I'm really so heartedly thankful for that. This is like, you don't see this kinds of things happen every single day. On my channel, people do debate me about uh, usage of sublime text versus atom. These are the people that are already having high intellectual level. The audience at this channel is somehow working really hard so that they can make a better life. They can become a better programmer. They can live a very happy life. Uh, they can upgrade their skills and all these things. So somehow I'm really proud on the audience that are combining up at this YouTube channel. I'm really proud on all of you guys. At this channel, I do really appreciate all of your feedbacks when you just uh, want to learn that why I should be choosing React over the Angular and all these discussion. These are high intellectual discussions. These are not about uh, why the company is giving me this uh, 6 GB RAM or 8 GB RAM. You don't talk about that. You obviously know that 6 GB RAM means a little bit slower and 8 GB means a little bit higher if the device are using like that kind of amount of RAM first on the very first case. So as of now, I would say that if you're looking forward for getting some mobile phone reviews or some gadget review on this channel, uh, probably I will not be able to serve you with this because I would like to stay with this channel as a unique channel for just programming and stuff that is really helpful for you related to programming life like interview questions, what is the latest tech going on, what is happening in the recent vulnerabilities and all these stuff. I love to talk about programming moreover than a mobile phone device and that's that's just me. So that's it. This is my mobile phone review about all of the mobile phone. Do hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content on programming, maybe programming interviews and just more over related to code and stuff. Don't hit that subscribe button if you want to really see the mobile phone reviews and all those, those stuff. As of now, I'm not comfortable in doing mobile phone reviews. Probably I cannot say much about the future, but as of now, this is the situation. That's it for this video and I'll surely catch you up in the next one. And just one more thing. Hey, don't forget to catch me up on every Saturday. I do a live at YouTube every single Saturday at 10 p.m. Indian Standard Time.